My name is David Wright. I started out as a still photographer and then got sidetracked into a new career as a cinematographer specializing in wildlife films. During my filmmaking career, we've swapped from film to video. So when video capable DSLRs came on the market, it was a dream come true. I'm lucky enough to have one of the best jobs in the world. And recently, I finally went to my seventh continent, Antarctica. Along the way, we visited South Georgia. And there, we went to the, some of the most spectacular locations on the planet for photographing wildlife and visited some of the penguin and seal colonies on its rugged coast. When you're in a place like South Georgia, the windows of opportunity in which you can shoot are limited because of the time and weather. That means your gear has to be reliable, otherwise you're going to miss the shot. At the heart of my kit were a Nikon D800 and a D610. When making the transition from stills to video, there are a few other pieces of equipment that you'll need to do an effective job. First up is a good tripod and a fluid head. This enables you to easily and smoothly track your subject. The next big challenge is correctly composing, exposing and focusing your image. I try and use a magnifier on the back of the LCD on the camera body or an external monitor or viewfinder. Another thing to consider is the use of sound in video. That means you should use an external microphone in addition to the built-in microphone within the camera. When making the transition from stills to video, you have to consider that no longer are you just trying to capture the decisive moment. You're telling a story through a series of images. That means getting wide, medium and close-up shots and changing your angle. That way you can tell a compelling and well-paced story. Now that's where I use something like the 28 to 300 millimeter lens. I can change shot size without changing lenses and that way I don't miss any action. This was my first visit to South Georgia and I have to say it did not disappoint. The numbers of birds and seals on the beach are just incredible. A favorite subject of mine are reptiles, and in particular, the eastern diamondback rattlesnake. When photographing wildlife, I like to get on their eye level, so you can see the world as they perceive it. When photographing a snake, it means getting low to the ground, which is a challenge with a DSLR that has a fixed LCD screen. That's where a camera like the D5300 is fantastic because of the articulated screen. Like other new cameras in the Nikon lineup, the D5300 shoots HD 1080 images, but at 60 frames a second. That's great for shooting fast moving subjects, and in particular, something like this snake's rattle. In the end, having a camera like a D800, a D610, or D5300 means that I can shoot great quality stills, but also video with one compact camera system.